Hey, God bless y'all. We're going to be reading Exodus 37, 38, and 39, verses 1 through 31. We read the word of the Lord, honoring the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Bezaliel made the ark of Shittim wood. Two cubits and a half was the length of it, and a cubit and a half the breadth of it, and a cubit and a half the height of it. And he overlaid it with pure gold within and without, and made a crown of gold to it round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold to be set by the four corners of it, even two rings upon the one side of it, and two rings upon the other side of it. And he made staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold, and he put the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark to bear the ark. And he made the mercy seat of pure gold, two cubits and a half was the length thereof, and one cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And he made two cherubims of gold, beaten out of one piece made he them, on the two ends of the mercy seat, one cherub on the end on this side, and another cherub on the other end on that side. Out of the mercy seat made he the cherubims on the two ends thereof, and the cherubims spread out their wings on high, and covered with their wings over the mercy seat, with their faces one to another, even to the mercy seat were, were the faces of the cherubims. And he made the tables, the table of shittim wood, Two cubits was the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and made thereunto a crown of gold round about. Also he made thereunto a border of a hand breadth round about, and made a crown of gold for the border thereof round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings upon the four corners that were in the four feet thereof. Over against the border were the rings, the places for the staves to bear the table, and he made the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold to bear the table. And he made the vessels which were upon the table, his dishes and his spoons and his bowls and his coverings to cover with all, a pure gold. And he made the candlestick of pure gold, of beaten work made he the candlestick, his shaft and his branch, his bowls, his knobs and his flowers were of the same, and six branches going out of the sides thereof, three branches of the candlestick out of the one side thereof, and three branches of the candlestick out of the other side thereof, three bowls made after the fashion of almonds, and one branch, a knob and a flower, and three bowls made like almonds in another branch, a knob and a flower. So throughout the six branches going out of the candlestick, and in the candlestick were four bowls made like almonds, his knobs and his flowers, and a knob under two branches of the same, and a knob under two branches of the same, and a knob under two branches of the same. According to the six branches going out of it, their knobs and their branches were of the same. All of it was one beaten work of pure gold. And he made his seven lamps and his snuffers and his snuff dishes of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold made he it and all the vessels thereof. And he made the incense altar of shittim wood. The length of it was a cubit, and the breadth of it a cubit. It was four square, and two cubits was the height of it. The horns thereof were of the same, and he overlaid it with pure gold, both the top of it and the sides thereof, round about in the horns of it. Also he made unto it a crown of gold round about, and he made two rings of gold for it under the crown thereof. And by the two corners of it upon the two sides thereof, to be places for the staves to bear it withal. And he made the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold. And he made the holy anointing oil, and the pure incense of sweet spices, according to the works of the apothecary. And he made the altar of burnt offering of shittim wood, five cubits was the length thereof, and five cubits the breadth thereof. It was four square, and three cubits the height thereof. And he made the horns thereof on the four corners of it, the horns thereof were of the same. And he overlaid it with brass, and he made all the vessels of the altar, the pots, and the shovels, and the basins, and the flesh hooks, and the fire pans, all the vessels thereof made he of brass. And he made for the altar a brazen grate of network under the compass thereof, beneath unto the midst of it. And he cast four rings for the four ends of the grate of brass to be places for the staves. And he made the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with brass, and he put the staves into the rings of the sides of the altar, to bear it withal, he made the altar hollow with boards. And he made the laver of brass, and the foot of it of brass, of the looking glasses of the women assembling, which assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he made the court on the south side, southward, the hangings of the court, were of fine twined linen, an hundred cubits, their pillars were twenty, and their brazen sockets twenty. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. And for the north side of 
And for the north side, the hangings were 100 cubits. Their pillars were 20 and their sockets of brass 20. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. And for the west side were hangings of 50 cubits. Their pillars 10 and their sockets 10. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. And for the east side, eastward, 50 cubits. The hangings of the one side of the gate were 15 cubits. Their pillars 3 and their sockets 3. And for the other side of the court gate on this hand and that hand were hangings of 15 cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. All the hangings of the court round about were of fine twined linen. And the sockets for the pillars were of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver, and the overlaying of their chapiters of silver, and all their pillars of the court were filleted with silver. And the hanging for the gate of the court was needlework of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen, and twenty cubits was the length, and the height and the breadth was five cubits, answerable to the hangings of the court. And their pillars were four, and their sockets of brass four, their hooks of silver, and the overlayings of their chapters, and their fillets of silver. And all the pins of the tabernacle and of the court round about were of brass. This is the sum of the tabernacle, even of the tabernacle of testimony, as it was counted, according to the commandment of Moses, for the service of the Levites by the hand of Ithamar, son of Aaron, son to Aaron, the priest, and Bezaleel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, made all that the Lord commanded Moses. And with him was Aholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver, and a cunning workman, and an embroiderer in blue and in purple, and in scarlet and fine linen, all the gold that was occupied for the work, and all the work of the holy place, even the gold of the offering, was twenty and nine talents and seven hundred and thirty shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. And the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation was an hundred talents, and a thousand seven hundred and three score and fifteen shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca for every man, that is, half a shekel, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for every one that went to be numbered, from twenty years old and upward, for six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty men. And of the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary, and the sockets of the wall, a hundred sockets of the hundred talents, a hundred, I'm sorry, a talent for a socket. Uh, let me back up. Sorry about that. Verse 27. And of the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary and the sockets of the veil, a hundred sockets of the hundred talents, a talent for a socket. And of the thousand seven hundred seventy and five shekels, he made hooks for the pillars and overlaid their chapters and filleted them. And the brass of the offering was seventy talents and two thousand and four hundred shekels. And therewith he made the sockets to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and the brazen altar and the brazen grate for it and all the vessels of the altar and the sockets of the court round about and the sockets of the court gate and all the pins of the tabernacle and all the pins of the court round about. And of the blue and purple and scarlet, they made cloths of service to do service in the holy place and made the holy garments for Aaron as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the ephod of gold, blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen. And they did beat the gold into thin plates and cut it into wires to work it in the blue and in the purple and in the scarlet and in the fine linen with cunning work. They made shoulder pieces for it to couple it together by the two edges was it coupled together. And the curious girdle of his ephod that was upon it was of the same according to the work thereof of gold, blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen as the Lord commanded Moses. And they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold, graven as signets are graven, with the names of the children of Israel. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was four square, they made the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof, being doubled. And they set in it four hundred, I'm sorry, and they set in it four rows of stones. The first row was a sardius, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This was the first row. And the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a ligure, and a gate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. 
They were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings, and the stones were according to the names of the children of Israel twelve. According to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one with his name according to the twelve tribes. And they made upon the breastplate chains at the ends of wreathen work of pure gold, and they made two ouches of gold and two gold rings, and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate, and they put the two wreathen chains of gold and the two rings on the ends of the breastplate, and the two ends of the two wreathen chains they fastened in the two ouches, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate upon the border of it which was on the side of the ephod inward, and they made two other golden rings and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath toward the fore part of it over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious girdle of the ephod. And they did bind the breastplate by his rings unto the rings of the ephod with the lace of blue, that it might be above the curious girdle of the ephod, and that the breastplate might not be loosed from the ephod as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the robe of the ephod of woven work, all of blue, and there was an hole in the midst of the robe, as the hole as in Haberdon, with a band round about the hole that it should not rend. And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet and twined linen, and they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe round about between, a po between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate round about the hem of the robe, to minister in as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made coats of fine linen of woven work for Aaron and for his sons, and a mitre of fine linen and goodly bonnets of fine linen and linen breeches of fine twined linen and a girdle of fine twined linen and blue and purple and scarlet of needlework as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and wrote upon it a writing like to the engravings of a signet, Holiness to the Lord. And they tied a unto it a lace of blue to fasten it on high upon the mitre as the Lord commanded Moses. That's it for today, guys. God bless y'all.